Hey, what's up, guys? It's Effect here, bringing you guys another video. Season 4, we are off to a great start with the Nut Code, and now we got to talk about these buffs with these characters. So, I'll be doing a couple characters I play personally and going over the new buffs and the nerfs that they got, if they're very crucial or not, if you know there's something useful, if they're not useful, and obviously, we're going to be going over my main character today. We're going to be going over King, and I feel like the Tekken team just loves us King players because you know we have Majin. We have Akai, we have Teheo, we have Puma, we have Federer, we have me. We got a couple other King players who are way better than me who are just going to obliterate people with this character now because of these buffs. And it seems like we're just very, very liked in the community, obviously, for obvious reasons. So we're going to go over those buffs and nerfs today. If there are any nerfs, because really and truly, we're King. So let's get started. Alrighty, guys and gals. So the first thing we're going to go into today is King's 1 plus 2 1. So this move is a wall bounce. But on block, is minus 13. So be very, very careful in using this. I use this string a lot personally because I love the wall bounce mechanism. And I'll try to use it as often as possible. But as the Tekken Gods, once again, love us King players, we have a cancellation with this now. So on hit, when you cancel, it's minus 9. And then on block, it doubles to minus 18. So you can also get launched for this. Let's say you're playing against Kazuya, which is on the screen. You can get electric after this cancel if it's on block, if they do read you the right way. But they have to be very, very careful on their own situation because you do have a chance to actually just confirm it if you want to. So it's a positive, it's a negative thing depending on how you use it. Just be very, very careful in a situational type of game and just use it the right way. But as of right now, for me, I feel like this is a very, very good buff because I love the string a lot. And it also has a high string, which is a three. But this cancellation helps out very, very well because you also have a Muscle Buster buffer now. So if you cancel this, there's your Muscle Buster, an easy buffer. And it leaves you close to the head as well. So this is a very, very good buffer in, in my book. And I actually am very, very in love with this move right now. So I've been using it a lot. So uh, just be very, very careful, like I said, in situational games against certain characters. And just take your time. You actually have a lot of time to see the animation on block and hit if you want to cancel or not. So. Do what you want with it, but be very, very careful with it. But this is a very, very good buff in my book. All right, guys. So the next one we're going to go over, and I'm going to combine two into one for this one, is uh, Jaguar Step 2, which is a down chop. Now, this down chop is plus 12 uh, on block. Let's see what it is, if we can actually get this, because the computer doesn't always do what we want to do, but because it's too slow. So on block, this is my slime. So this is a safe move to go for out of Jaguar Step. So... Uh, the use for this now is pretty much that this leaves you closer on hit and it's plus 12 and this is meant for down grabs as well as down grabs are 12 frames so this is literally legit like been a season one thing where it's a perfect down grab throw and you immediately do it right after the chop so the chop is now leaving opponents closer on hit so then these down grabs won't miss but they also once again this is the two in one motion they also buffed the down grabs range so at max two range you can down grab it without missing. So if you down grab, let's say, you know, they're ducking for no reason, or, you know, you caught them in a setup that you want to down grab in, this won't miss anymore. This was very problematic in the other seasons as, you know, you would down grab and you would be in the range for it, but you would actually miss the down grab and you'll get punished for it. Or, you know, you get launched for it, depending on what character you're playing against. But it was very problematic before it, and I've tried it before it, and it, it was a thing. And I'm glad they actually increased the range of this so then we wouldn't have to worry about so much of range problems and stuff. And the chop just leaves you closer on hit to make sure and ensure that you get these grabs off. So, once again, another great buff for King. And <laughs> the Tekken Gods just, I guess they just love us. So there you go. Okay, so for the next move we're going to talk about in King's Arsenal is Dawn 4 1 2. So now in Season 2 is Season 3. This only used to be plus 3 no matter what you did. So Dawn 4 1 is plus 3 already. And Dawn 4 1 2 was also plus three but now as of season four this is plus five on hit on block this is minus ten which means that for example mishimas will punish you with one one two and get some great okay after it some other characters get some other things depending on what their move set is but on hit our reward is being plus five which means that there's no longer jab interruptions or interrupting us between this move and grabs so that means that either they can duck and try to eat another down for one two which is why i don't recommend because then you're going to want to stand up and you get grabbed or you just get grabbed period because you cannot step anymore 
So pretty much it's, it's an eye for an eye. And I love this because now it means that there's no longer pressing against this. And it used to be super weird in season three where I would do this and I would get jab interrupted sometimes depending on what happened. But it's probably because I delayed myself, but that's my fault. But there's no longer a jab interruption between this. And I'll show you an example right now where he'll walk forward and I'm going to interrupt him uh, after I do down for one, two with a tombstone. And he'll try to jab me out of it and he'll be too slow to do so. So we'll see that right here right now. As you see, he tried to jab there. You can't really see it. It's kind of like very, very minor, but you can see that he tried to actually jab, jab there and he got interrupted, of course, because I was too quick on, you know, hit to try to interrupt my tombstone. So I see again, try to do it again. It just did not work. So this plus five means a lot to us as king players because no longer can we get interrupted. This grab thing is great because now we have tracking, which is what I'll go over, you know, after this one. We have tracking on grabs now, which is very great for us. So either you can try to duck and, you know, eat another down for one, two, like I said, or they can try to, you know, sidestep and avoid that down for one, two, or they'll just get grabbed for stepping. So once again, another great buff for us. All right. As promised, the next thing we're going to talk about here is the tracking and grabs. So this is not just a king thing. This is actually universal, which means that Armor King and Marduk have this as well. So if an opponent wants to step to the left, Per se, my grab that I will use is giant swing. It will track them sidestepping or sometimes walking, depending on the situation, to the left. So I will show that right now as he will try to step to the left and he's going to get caught in his own sidestepping. As you see, the tracking is increased and it's huge. It's huge tracking. So as you see, when you try to do the input, when you walk forward, as you're walking forward, it will track them going to the left. So this is very big for us King players and Armor King players and Mark players because a lot of people like to just step to the weak side of the characters. And now that they try to step to the weak side, we have something to negate that. So particularly for Kazuya, I, I feel like this is a lot of Kazuya players. After King players do something, they immediately step into an electric. No longer that. Cannot do that anymore. They will get caught in their own step. So this is very big for us King players and Armor King players and Mark players. And just grapplers in general, like, you know, this game makes it a little bit easier to break throws as it's only commands is ones, twos, and one plus twos. And I feel like, you know, making grabs easier to break in this game as tag two was actually a little bit harder. Ta you know, Tekken seven makes it a little bit easier to break grabs. And I feel like this is an eye for an eye. So if you want to step, just be very, very careful when you step against grapplers now. That's all that means. So I'll show you an example of them trying to step to the right as well as I use tombstone for this one. As you see, it tracks right there. So this is very big for us grapplers, very, very big. And this is an enormous buff for us because that means that they no longer can they just step randomly or, you know, depending on the situation, if they want to step and we see them stepping, we have a situational grab now. We can just throw it out when we want to, depending on the situation, like I said, if they like to duck a lot, that's different. You have a different mix up for that. But as terms for them stepping, we have something to negate that. So this is a very enormous buff for us. I, I'm loving this buff as of, as of right now, being an online player, as we don't have tournaments right now, being able to throw just randomly due to people stepping is amazing. So I'm loving this one. All right. So the next two moves we're going to talk about comes from King's full crouch game. Now we have full crouch down for two which is Gut Buster, which is a launcher, and it's full cross down for it one, which is another launcher. So this being a sweep obviously makes it slower. This is 32 frames. Uh, in situational things, what you want to do is try to make it instant as possible. And this is uh, another input I can't really teach you. More or less, it's something that will come naturally, depending on if you know the input. And it's pretty much just a full crouch instant down for it one. And you use it depending on what happens, depending on the range, you know, however you want to use it. But what they did to these two moves is they increased the tracking. And once again, <laughs> the, the Tekken gods just love us. So depending on which way he moves and doesn't matter which way he actually steps or sidewalks, uh, depending on how you're using this, will track them. So let's say he holds it, right? Let's say he's holding that sidewalk, right? And I hold this down for two as long as I can, it will track. The longer you hold this, the more it tracks. So if you do it immediately when he actually steps initially, it will not track as much. So the longer you hold it, the more tracking you get. This is actually very stellar, and I love this a lot. And as you see, full cross down for one, just the same thing. The longer you hold it, the more it tracks. So uh, I think this is another good thing in King's Arsenal to have. Once again, you do these moves depending on situations. And just another thing added to this full cross game, just tracking. You have tracking grabs and you have tracking full cross game. Another great buff for King. All right, so the last one we're going to talk about here is King's back three. Now, this back three is a, a leg kick that is also a high, and this is a 16 frame punish. And you can also get a down grab off of this for free, depending on if they do not press back. 
So if they press back uh, when this animation happens, they will roll backwards. But if they don't, this also guarantees a down grab. But you don't have to do this anymore because now you have the extension, which is back three, one plus two. And this guarantees a leg drop. The Hulk Hogan leg drop, the unpatented leg drop. This is actually super cool and a, and a really cool animation to see. So what you can do off this is pretty much uh, from back turn, uh, if they do get up, you can do four, two, one as a guaranteed thing if they get up backwards. And if they're sitting on the ground rolling, you can try to guarantee a down grab or a blue bomb if you have rage active. But you don't want to always do that because they can get out of certain situations. So be very, very careful doing that. I'm just saying as me as a king player who does setups, these are things I would do. But you don't always have to do anything after it. You can always just let it sit as it is and let them get up and try something else after. But it does provide great oki. So you have some type of option to do there. So uh, another thing you can use it for is after the shove. Usually after shove, you do 4-2-1. Uh, you can also do uh, shove back 4, which will guarantee a wall bounce. But now you have back 3 to work off of as well. And this is also guaranteed. So you can do shove into back 3, uh, 1 plus 2 guaranteed. Which is actually really, really cool. Still 43 damage as usual. And once again, it's just another great buff and another added extension for us King players to use. So uh, back three is a great whip punisher to use. Uh, I don't really throw this out too often, but now I have a reason to. So there you go. Really great buff. Alrighty guys. So that's the end of the video and all the buffs. Once again, <laughs> it's only buffs. There's no nerfs. Do you think I was going to, you know, do you think they're going to nerf King like at all? I don't know who thought they were going to nerf King because, you know, that was not going to happen whatsoever because they love us King players. They love a little margin. So once again, all buffs, no nerfs. And I'm very appreciative of these buffs because, you know, it kind of helps my gameplay as well in certain things that I do as a King player and I can utilize them now. So if I had to give a grade for, you know, these buffs and, you know, season four King, I would say he could possibly just be S tier now or possibly like the highest of the A's. And I feel like there's a few characters who are just, you know, better than him per se in terms of trying to play solid and everything. But I still feel like he contends against them easily. So really and truly appreciative of these buffs. And pretty much that's it. I have nothing else to say about this character. This character is just all buffs. So I really appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate the buffs. You know, Harada, Marco Murray, and the development team. Appreciate the buffs, as I usually don't say that. But anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I am also on Twitch at EffectTK and also on Twitter at EffectTK. I am most active on Twitter if you guys want to talk to me or find out any updates about anything. So, uh, the next character we will do will be Julia, who is my second main and also the waifu of this game. I do not care what anybody else says, Julia is the waifu. That is who we're doing next. So, I will see you guys later and I appreciate you guys so much. Peace.